Hey you guys, Tyrannosaurus Text here with our latest tech video. And this one's something we haven't done in a while, but that is a review. Now, we said, I don't know if it actually made it into one of the last videos, but we said we're going to give all of our new reviews a Tyrannosaurus Text score. So, make sure you watch, watch for that too. But if you haven't checked our latest video on the unboxing, make sure you check that out before you check this one out, because we don't want to ruin anything for you. And if you don't have a lot of time, you can check out our short review of the same video, it's just shorter. And that will be up soon after this video, if it's not up when you're reviewing it right now. But now to the nitty gritty, this is our full review of the gorgeous, thin and lightweight new MacBook. Man, this is a beauty. But it has some downsides and we're going to go over that, but it also has some upsides. So if you want a good computer, you might not want to look here if you're not willing to compromise. But if you are willing to compromise and you love the design, and you love the portability, then this may be the computer for you as long as your price isn't too important. Because this is a very expensive piece of machinery for what it is. It's This is the baseline model clocked at $1,300. Or $1, so, you know, go where you want from there. But this isn't cheap, so make sure you know what you're getting yourself into before it's too late. So, without further ado, this is our review of the new MacBook. First off, let's get some things out of the way. This video will be the longer of the two videos we're going to be posting for your review. So if you don't have a lot of time, you might want to check out the other one. It's the same content, just brief. And this one's going more into that. There will be reasons behind it. Also, this video is, while on the long side, going to probably be one of the better videos that we've posted. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below when you feel ready. And also, there should be a link on screen right about now maybe that should show us the link to the unboxing video if you haven't checked that out already so make sure you get that done so you know what's in the box because we won't really be covering that much here so without further ado let's get actually in to the review of the new macbook okay so we spent two weeks with the new macbook just to kind of get an idea we felt as though two weeks was the best amount of time we could spend so before we actually get to the macbook we're going to discuss a little bit about the components of the box. Now we did this in the unboxing. But this is the power brick is more like an iPad charger than a MacBook charger. Or it feels a lot like a MacBook charger because it is a MacBook charger, I guess. But it does have the profile of the iPad charger. Other than that, the cord is also a little different. USB-C, but it's a very straight cord. It is a MacBook cord. It feels like a MacBook cord. There's no reason to believe it's not a MacBook cord. Well, I guess it is a MacBook cord, so there should be no reason. And also, one of the most strange parts is the fact that the Apple stickers are changed color-wise. It's a little different, I guess, but um, these are the Space Gray stickers because we do have the Space Gray MacBook. So actually, part of the MacBook itself is the box. Now, the box, we did do a comparison, and we are, are believing that this is the actual size of the MacBook that is printed on the box. Now, we did do a size comparison to kind of get that. But I guess that's out of the way. So this is an unboxing. I'm not gonna go into full depth. Just put it in the box. So you can see the box. So if you haven't yet, check out the MacBook unboxing video. Yeah, I'm just gonna be rough for that. Don't need any more. So I guess other than that, let's get really cracking into what this new MacBook can do. Now it's time for your tech specs. The new MacBook comes in three variations: gold, silver, and space gray, which is the one we have, and two prices. One starting at $12.99 and the other at $15.99, although they can be upgraded to as much as about $17.50. The new MacBook features a 12-inch diagonal LED backlit retina display with IPS technology, a resolution of 2304 by 1440 at 226 pencil, pixels per inch with support for millions of colors and a 16 10 aspect ratio. Its processor is a 1.1 GHz dual-core Intel Core M processor. Up, it is turbo boosted up to 2.4 though, and 4 MB of shared L3 Kaje. It, it has 8 GB of 1600 MHz LPD DR3 onboard memory. The one that we have comes in 256 GB of onboard flash storage, but it can be configured up to 512 GB. It weighs in at 2.03 pounds and has a total depth 
of about 13 millimeters. It has the Intel HD graphics card 5300 with dual display and video mirroring. It simultaneously supports full native resolution on built-in display and up to a 3840 by 2160 pixels on an external display. It has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi wireless networking and Bluetooth 4.0. It contains the USB-C port and a headphone jack along with two microphones. It has a 480p FaceTime camera along with stereo speakers dual and dual microphones as said before and support with the iPhone headset through the headphone, headphone port. It has a full-size backlit keyboard, 17% larger than the last generation, and up to 9 hours wireless web browsing time, and up to 10 hours iTunes movie playback time. It comes in a frequency of 50 Hz to 60 Hz, and the operating temperature is 50 degrees to 95 degrees. It comes with OS X Yosemite included, but you will have to upgrade to 10.10.3. Okay, so now that the tech specs are out of the way, let's get down to the actual components of the new MacBook. First off, the biggest change you'll see is the introduction of the USB Type-C port. Now, for us personally, this hasn't been that big of a deal. We don't use many adapters. Most of what we do is in the cloud, but I can see where someone has and we did order the digital AV multi-port adapter, but it hasn't even shipped yet after two weeks of ordering it. So, yeah, I'm not really happy about that. So, other than that, there's another port on it, and that is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, along with two microphones. But other than that, there's really nothing too exciting from the outside of the MacBook, other than the loss of the glowing Apple logo and the metal antenna on the back so there's absolutely no plastic well, except for that on the whole computer and the keyboard but no plastic this part of the video is going to be brief it's not very really pretty it's just trying to get the whole MacBook in but the screen is one of the greatest features of this new MacBook boasting a retina display it is absolutely stunning and on a scale of 1 to 10 I give that screen a 9.9. .9. It is a fantastic screen, especially for such a small computer. Okay, now that we're back to normal, I guess you could say, the keyboard is the next point. Now, the keyboard is very good. I like it. If you've ever typed from an Apple keyboard, you can kind of expect. It feels like an Apple keyboard, except you don't press as much. In Apple keyboards, you never really press as that deep anyway, but this one is very nice to click on, um, type on, and anything. Yes, very, very nice keyboard. It doesn't take long to get used to it, but if you like a tactile keyboard, this is not the computer for you because that is not this keyboard whatsoever. Next up, we have the trackpad. Now, the trackpad is one of the neat features available on this MacBook, as well as the 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2015. Now, it doesn't actually click, so when you're tapping, you're actually clicking, but the keyboard doesn't actually move. The same thing goes with Force Touch. But it all makes a sound and a feeling so it feels like you're clicking. I really can't tell the difference. You can hear it too. See, nothing happens. So that's just to show you that the trackpad is one of the neat features of this new MacBook. Now performance is not the strong suit of this MacBook, but it does do pretty well. For instance, light video editing in 1080p, I edited, I edited those two videos plus the two review videos as well as the intro, all in this without any problem whatsoever. So it's not too bad and it does play some games as long as they're not like World of Warcraft or too intense, but it does play Minecraft, you can play internet archive all of those games all of them on a macbook without much problem um photo editing is the same way as video editing not too big not too bad but the new macbook is by no way powerhouse so don't go out there and just say oh i'm gonna buy this macbook just because it can do all these great things because that's really not what this computer is for but as for your small stuff like pages it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever this is mainly built as a student computer or a traveling computer, so 
of course it's going to be able to perform like pages and numbers and keynote and things like that without much problem whatsoever. So while this may not be the workhouse that you think it will be, it's not that bad. Um, so just keep that in mind when thinking about buying this new MacBook. The most surprising part of this new MacBook is not the screen, is not the keyboard, is not the trackpad, it's not the design, but the most surprising part is the speaker. Now this has one of the best speakers that I've ever heard on a laptop and it genuinely made me gasp when I first heard it. So for a quick comparison, I'm going to play the first few seconds of Geronimo by Shep Shepard on the first generation iPad mini and the new MacBook both at about the same distance from the microphone. So, full blast. Can you feel it? Okay, see, that was pretty loud. But, when we really want to talk about loud, we come over here to the new MacBook and play the same song, just do the same point, and be prepared to be blown away, literally. Can you feel it? See, both computers, or both machines, do have a pretty good speaker. Um, while the iPad may not be HTC boom sound worthy, it is by far still a worthy opponent to the new MacBook. The new MacBook completely obliterates, and there is no doubt that the new MacBook will take it any day in a speaker challenge. Part of the reason I believe behind the magnificent speakers is the fact that it has an all-metal design, which really gives it an echo, and I personally prefer the sound of metal speakers. Metal headphones, metal everything. And metal sounds better when dealing with music. So that's just my opinion, so tell us what you think in the comments below. Do you like a metal sound or an artificial sound? Now on to downsides. One of the biggest downsides for most people with the new MacBook is the lack of ports. Now it has one single USB Type-C port, which without adapters does pretty much nothing but charge. So the USB-C is not the universal standard yet, but it will be that way before long, I'm afraid. And also, some people on the internet have brought up interesting points. It would be nice to include two, maybe three, USB-C ports, kind of like the Chromebook did with the Chromebook Pixel. But we're not seeing this in the first generation MacBook. Maybe the second, but unlikely, probably. Another problem that users have been reporting is the heating problem. Now, this happens right here on the back and on the front near the speaker grill. Now, for me personally, it has not been a problem. Uh, I can easily use iMovie and Safari all at the same time without much problem. Um, it does get a little warm, but nothing I can't manage. Simply computer warm. All computers get that way, but the new MacBook is no exception, especially with the fanless design. I here believe the biggest problem with the new MacBook is the camera quality. Now this is boasting a 480p pixel density camera, which is in no way up to the 720p of most computers, but it does perform adequate. Now, I'm not a big Skyper or FaceTimer, so it's not that big of a deal for me, but some of you, it may be a big deal. Um, also, you might be able to see there's a little bit of lag with my lips and what I'm saying, so if you notice that a little bit, it's, I guess, just the way the video turned out, so just bear with me there. Some YouTubers and tech aficionados have proclaimed the iPhone, or not the iPhone, the new MacBook camera as the potato cam, and for a great reason. Now, 480p is not a 2015 spec, so remember that. Keep it in consideration when thinking about purchasing a new MacBook. The last big downside is probably the price. Now, it starts at $12.99, but can go up to about $17.50. So the price will draw a lot of people away and asks you the question, is it really worth it? Although comparable models of similar computers do offer a little bit higher of a price. However, the MacBook Air with similar specs, but not boasting the Retina display, is $100 cheaper.
So keep that in mind too when thinking about buying the new MacBook. So there you have it, the new MacBook review. Full length, what we think. So should you buy this computer? Generally speaking, if you simply work on pages, Safari, Keynote, YouTube, slight iMovie, iPhoto, well, not iPhoto anymore, but photos, and anything else, just small, not overbearing, not power horse hungry. If you just work for small amounts of time and you work hard, this computer can easily get nine hours. I've been easily able to get nine hours out of it. So the battery life is not the problem with the new Terra structure. That's obviously not a problem. But if you really want a computer that's portable, lightweight, easy to use, and overall the best bet for portability, then I would get the new MacBook. But if you're looking for something for gaming, powerhouse hungry, iMovie editing, Final Cut Pro, any of those things, this new MacBook is obviously not the computer for you. So take that into consideration. But if you still want it, it is a gorgeous design, gorgeous computer. And overall, I have been very satisfactory with the results I've had for these past two weeks. Hey guys, thanks for watching this review. But before we close, we got some news for you. We haven't said the Tyrannosaurus tech score. So here it is. Scoring very high on the Tyrannosaurus tech scale. The new MacBook clocks in at a surprising 8 out of 10, which isn't bad, especially for such a gorgeous design, but with so many compromises. So thanks again for watching our full review of the new MacBook. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment for more content like this, and tell us what you think. Would you be picking up the new MacBook, or is it too much for you to stretch? Anyway, we'll have the links below for where you can purchase the new MacBook, along with the lots and lots of expensive dongles. But you know, at least they work, because they're guaranteed to make by Apple. But if you want to pick up one cheaper, they do have third party, second party, fourth party, I don't know. They do have many other adapters. But tell us what you think. Is this new MacBook the best for you? So thanks for watching. Keep watching for more content like this from us, Tyrannosaurus Techs. So without further ado, have a good week, have a good day, and have a good life.